What is up, everyone? Welcome to week number three of the UNPL. Today, we're taking on Emerald Miner and the Demolition Force. Uh, I'm your coach of the New York Noibats, and uh, I think that, you know, coming off from our week number two game, I really want to try to get a week number three. Last week, we won 1-0. Um, that's, you know, week number two, getting, a, getting our first win, I gotta say, that feels pretty good. You know, you guys, if you've been following me, it takes me a while to get going, and that's just a lot sooner than what I'm used to. So, um, shout out to me for for uh, for doing something last week. Um, so, going uh, just just going off now uh, about my my team this week. Let me let me start with my lead, which is going to be Bastiodon. It's a Spideff Bastiodon. It's a sturdy you know lead with rocks, and it's rocking the mental herb, so I can't be taunted. It should it should be guaranteed rocks. Um, I can't think of anything that would prevent me from really getting up rocks. Um, so it, it's Spadef. It, it also has Roar, which is for things like Clefable if it wants to do Calm Mind things, Latios if it wants to do Calm Mind things. Um, anything that just wants to try to set up, you know, in my face. Um, I think Flamigo could try to set up on me, you know, like literally like he has so like nasty plot Houndoom could try to set up on me. So roar just to roar out those things that are going to be trying to, uh, you know, set up and sweep. Um, I have another uh, returning Pokemon from last week, the uh, Toxtricity, the, the Jimmy. Uh, it is going to be Choice Scarfed again. We have another returning heavy duty, heavy duty boots. Moltres, uh, that's going to help me switch into things like Metagross, um, as well as Flamigo and Shaman, um, and it might even be nice against Houndoom, depending on, you know, um, what we do. Um, so, I, I kind of like Moltres in this matchup. Now, we do have a Choice Scarf Toxtricity, and uh, Boom Burst looks really good into his team. Uh, I do have to watch out for things like the Dust Neuer and the Metagross, but um, I I'm, you know, planning on getting rid of those things first before we uh, just start clicking buttons with the with Jimmy, the Toxtricity. Um, I do have another breaker in the form of Life Orb Mouscarada. It's got coverage um, for a lot of the different things, like we have Knock Off, for the Metagross, and then U-Turn is really good against the Latios, the Samurott, um, the Shaman, um, and uh, yeah, and then we have Triple Axel, that's good for uh, the Shaman as well, it's also good for the Clod Sire, um, you know, Stab, it's good for Latios, it's, it also hits Clefable pretty hard, um, and then F Flower Trick is good too, you know, it's just good critten all the time so I, I like that that's good for maybe it does does clefable still get cosmic power i don't i don't even know but it's also got a good amount of defense evs there so that way we can try to eat a bullet punch a little bit better um from the metagross and uh this week i'm also going to be bringing a mana fee that has skill swap and take heart um because if he tries to use Clod Sire to, uh, you know, water absorb my uh, scalds and, and my boosted scalds, uh, I can just uh, boost up and, uh, you know, just spam scald into him, into his team. And uh, I could also skill swap a unaware from either the, you know, same Clod Sire or Clefable. That would be pretty cool. And Ice Beam is just for the coverage. We are timid max speed to speed tie with that Shaman. Uh, we do have to obviously get rid of some of the faster things on his team uh, before we uh, let this put in the work, but it, this will be good against the large majority of his team. Like the only thing that really outspeeds us is gonna be Latias and the Jolteon, and then we speed tie with Shaman, so. Um, there, there's not that much that that is going to be in the way of Manaphy, so looking forward to that. Uh, we have our Road Rage as our final mod. It's going to be our Assault Vested Iron Treads, and it's it actually eats a Latias Aura Sphere. Like it eats very comfortably. If he's not invested, um, we could probably even eat. I think we eat three of them, like regardless, even if he is like invested. 
as long as he's not boosted item, we actually take that. So, I mean, we definitely take the Draco. Uh, a Draco into the Oversphere, we should we should eat that. So, um, we have the Rapid Spin to get rid of his hazards. We definitely need a Rapid Spinner against the Samurott team. But he, you know, uh, I, I think that this is going to be good. I don't really see too much for hazard removal on his side of the field. So, um, that's why I really wanted to prioritize getting Stealth Rocks up with the um, uh, Bastiodon. And um, I considered putting spikes um, on my Mouscarada, but I just really liked it offensively. It just seemed like it would smack things around in this matchup. So it's about eight o'clock. It's about time for me to hit up uh, Emerald Miner and see if he's ready to battle. All right, we are searching. I am excited for this game. It's a Friday afternoon, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling good. Emerald Miner. Miner as in someone in a cave digging for stuff, not to be confused with someone under the age of 18. All right, a team very different than what I expected. I did not expect the, the Kamala Harris and the Komala, and... Uh, I didn't really expect Flamigo that much. All right, but we still got, we got answers for these things. I'm kind of hoping that um, I guess he's gonna go Terra Ghost Kamala. Um, I think either way, my move is to just lead off with our Goth girlfriend. You know, just Terra. Get get the Terra Fairy going, and then um, and then set up our rocks. I don't know what we'll see here, but I think that we have uh, a pretty good answer to the Jolteon in our AV. What's your, what you call it? Our AV Iron Treads. I think that um, Flamigo we can kind of handle with Moltres. The Shaman uh, we got Moltres for. We can check it offensively with either the Meowscarada or the Choice Scarf Toxtricity. We got things that we can do. We just have to not mess up. Like we, like I think with the team that we built, we still have the, the answers, even though I'm like slightly thrown off by not seeing the Latias. Um, so he's gonna just lead off with the Jolteon. And now that I'm seeing Jolteon, I'm kind of getting a little bit fearful that we are going to see, um, that we're going to see screens. I'm scared that we're going to see screens, but either way, I think what I do is I just go for rocks and I just roar things around. So we are Spadef. We, I'm kind of scared of screens now. I know that this thing, like, pretty much can't really do much damage to me. Like, I'm not worried about that. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see. He just goes straight for a Shadow Ball. Um, and we should take that relatively nicely. Um, and he, we do find out that he is Life Orb. Um, and we are going to get up our rocks here. And I think that we could probably just go for a Roar. Um, I mean, I, I, I think that he'd probably want to switch out, right? Seek that damage. I think that's probably good to just just uh, get some little bit of chips on anything. Yeah, I don't know. What what was he predicting? Was he predicting me to go Terra Ghost? I think I'm just going to roar. I think he's going to Volt Switch here. So we are at 184 health, which brings me down to about 57% here. Well, no, it's crazy. No Metagross either. Which is something I was kind of scared of. So here comes the Beanstalk. The Beanstalk is going to be the Shaman. Um, and he's going to take a little bit of Rock's Chip. And he's going to get switched out. So that's good for me. Next time Shaman comes in, it's going to be taking Rock's twice. So this is a good matchup for me. I think that I just want to go for the Body Press here. I think that he'll probably take the opportunity to try to Ceaseless Edge. Um, I'm just gonna go for the body press like this was literally just part of the plan just be kind of annoying like right from the start just be a real um I, I don't want to say the word I I found out that my I saw that my uh, nephew watched my battle the other day <laughs> he was at my house and I was saying 
bad words in my last video, so I'm like, man, I cannot let my um, young nephew be influenced poorly by my language. So I'm trying to be better. So he's going to take a body press now. And Shaman, oh my god, Shaman being whittled down the way that it is, is great for me. That's great for me. Uh, just yummy in my tummy. One less thing that's in my Manaphy's way. He, we know that he's leftovers. I don't even know if this thing can touch me. I don't think it can touch me. I'm going... I think I'm just going to go right for... I mean, Body Press does more, but I think I'm just going to go for the Roar. Okay, he's going to he's gonna synthesize. Fair play. Very fair play. Okay, so we see that he... Okay, I'm going to get my sticky note out, and I'm going to start typing shit down. Because I know I'm going to forget... Um, I don't want this thing... I mean, I'm just gonna roar again. I mean, is he gonna... I mean, is he... I don't know what he's gonna do. He, he might just... Okay, he's gonna flip turn. Bro, everything is taking rocks. This is so nice for me. Alright, so we're gonna see Sam flip turn. Uh, Shaman. Synthesis. Leftovers. Here comes Flamigo. Flamigo gonna take some rocks as well. I'm literally just going to keep roaring. <laughs> I'm just gonna be, I'm just click and roar nine times in a row. Great, okay. All right, so I think so since we see a Flamigo there, I think what we do is we go right out into our vegan wings here. And I think we just click U-turn. I think we just click U-turn here. I think that he should swap out. I mean, we know that this Flamigo, I mean, I don't think this thing, I mean, he does get Roost, but I don't, I don't think he's going to be going for Roost. I don't think he's going to stay in. He's either going to hit me and try to chip me down. Okay, he does that. Um, That does a lot of damage. He does not get burned. Um, I wonder if he is uh, protected pads. Um, so here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out into the Jimmy here. And I think I'm just going to fire off a psychic noise because if I were him, I think I would probably try to go out into the... Oh, he didn't... He actually did not... He didn't even bring... Um, he didn't even bring a Boom Burst switch in. Yeah, he didn't even bring a Boom Burst switch in. I'm clicking Boom Burst. Okay, he is scarfed himself. Um, good to know. And this this means that this is going down. Um, he's gonna bring something in. So he has no Clod Sire. He has no Metagross. He does not have the Dust Snore. He does not have Houndoom. So his team is consistent of Sam, uh, Clef. Shaman, Jolteon, Flamigo, and Kamala. I don't know what he's going to do. I have a feeling like his uh, his Scarfer was just Flamigo, and now that's gone. So it has to be Clefable that comes in here, or Shaman. But Shaman might be scared. Here comes out Garbage Greg. Um, and I think here we are going to see a Terra Ghost. Um... And that does scare me uh, a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It does scare me a little bit. But I think that I could probably just go... I probably... Like, the least needed member on my team is definitely the um, Moltres. At least at the health that it's at. Um, 
is probably the most likely to uh, be able to survive a hit from this thing. And, um, okay, he gets the rapid spin off. That's probably, that's really good for him. Uh, he, and he can't get burned either. So, uh, pretty good on hit on his part, but um, I'm kind of okay with just letting this thing go down. I think I'm okay with letting this thing go down. I, I think the, the play is just to click hurricane. Um, and get some, uh, like a moderate amount of damage on him. That's actually fantastic damage. Okay, he's going to be at plus two uh, speed. I'm not really too, too concerned. Like, I don't think that there's anything that... I don't think there's anything that he could do. Like, I mean... He's got... He does not really have a good... I mean, he doesn't really get anything for... Honestly, the max speed Toxtricity Scarf might be enough to outspeed him. And he doesn't have um, a good Sludge Bomb switch in, so... Like, he would have to go Terra Ghost. I'm kind of considering the, the max HP. And just... Mm, That's still, you know, no, no, no. I think we go, I think we go out into Road Rage here. He doesn't get Earthquake. We're at full health. He's, he's at half. Um, I don't think we can get KO'd with anything. Um, Earthquake versus his team is pretty free. Um, I think if he's going to go out into anything, it might be the, like, I'm going to just calc real quick. I'm just going to calc. I think that, I think I just click Ice Spinner. Because I, 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 I okay, he has Earthquake. Um, I think I can live that. And, uh, he crits me. Dude, Iron Treads has gotten crit both times. Both times. What gives? That really sucks, dude. Um, I mean, that's still... I mean, it's still, like, there's nothing that, um, Jolteon can do to touch me. But that sucks, man. Do I sack something here? It's also decent versus Clefable. Looking at my matchup, I'm, I think that what I do is I get rid of Manaphy. Or do I get rid of the Pussy? All right, I'm, I'm getting rid of Pussy. Earthquake. All right, we eat. Um, And I think what I do is I just go for a U-turn. I'm going for a U-turn. I don't know what he's terra-ing terra -ing into here. Um, I, I I would think it'd be... Okay, he just goes fairy. He just goes fairy. Um, let's see. We are faster than him. And we get the kill. Okay. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I, I was kind of shitting myself there a little bit, not going to lie. I was just kind of shitting myself. Um, and I know I said that I was going to not use bad words, but I, um, I'm i sorry. I lied. So, I think, I mean, Boom Burst probably, like, I mean, honestly, just Scarfed Toxtricity is probably the best switch. I mean, because Sludge Bomb also... Like, Sludge Bomb is also really good into him. Like, he gets to pick, and he probably goes... I don't even know what he goes into. Honestly, I don't even know what he goes into. Toxtricity is such a threatening mon, man. It really is. Like, maybe, like, worst case is... The Fable... Kamai? I, I don't really know. Samurott? What, what is Samurott taking? What is Samurott taking from, like, a vest, like, overdrive kills? Boom Burst. Boom Burst probably doesn't kill. What does a Sucker Punch do? Let's 
Sucker Punch does 50 to 60 if he's adamant max attack. Um, I think that... And... I just go for the for the boom burst here. I mean, I don't try. Do I try to play around Sucker Punch? I don't think I try to play around Sucker Punch. I think I just go for the boom burst. I should have played around Sucker Punch. But at the same time, at the same time, I mean, I just go out to Meowskarada and just U turn. I couldn't really risk a uh, ceaseless ceaseless edge. Um, so, Shaman's going to come and take a pretty fat, you know, U-turn. This is a Life Orb stab U-turn. And now he's kind of in the position where I go into Iron Treads. And I, I click the... Uh, I click the ice spinner. Or or I click earthquake because I predict him to go out into the Samurai Hisui. And um that would be ballsy. That'd be pretty ballsy. Click an earthquake. I'm clicking earthquake, bro. I'm I got big, like I'm telling you, like I got I'm I'm like this is the this is the play of the game. This is the play of the game right here. I, I'm like this is kind of a crazy like I mean he could like I don't you know you don't get rid of something that takes down Manaphy, dude. You don't right. You don't want to get rid of your Manaphy answer. Or one of, at least one of your good ones, right? No! Bro, Ice Spinner would have definitely killed. Oh, man. Okay. Well, now I Ice Spinner. That does nothing. Okay. But want to know what that means, though? Do you want to know what that means? I think that means that Manaphy, um, after a calm my or after it will take heart. Consider like he's defensive. He's defensive. He's not fast. Um. Or I think I just go in triple axel. I'm triple axeling, dude. I messed up by not going for the kill. I guess I was just worried about um I I guess I was more so worried about the other thing, the um Samurott. I guess I was more worried about Samurott. But I think that... do Now, do we fear the Samurott? Going for the Sucker Punch? I mean, realistically, I don't know if I can win versus the Jolteon now. I guess what I should have done was put more into Spadef. I, I think what I... I think that I'm I think I'm done here like I think I'm toast I think that's it I think that's game I'm going for knockoff like this probably kills me and I think that on four I don't think we're gonna be able to like I think life I think life orb just just wins bro don't you hate when you like miss a payment and then you look at your bank and you're like man a fee 
Bro, I'm going. I'm going. I'm clicking skill swap. You're not too hit KO on me, bro. Pick a different move. I'm making this difficult for you. I need you to reveal me another move. Oh, he's got a luring voice. All right. <laughs> nice job. On Fort, we did not win. Uh, I think that was a, what, a 4-0 loss? That was pretty bad, right? That was 3-0. Okay. On Fort. Um, I did feel good about the matchup, but he played pretty well, and I made some really bad plays. So, uh, good game to Emerald Miner. Uh, I feel like that was kind of fast, too. Like, I didn't really do as much calcing as I thought. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what was the... I, I think I overplayed it. You know what I mean? I think I probably could have made some safer plays. Um, like, playing the slow game instead. Like, you know, I think that, like, early on with Flamigo, I think that I could have, um, roosted instead of going for the U-turn. Um, I, I think that there was definitely some things that I could have done differently, so... Um, uh, definitely a learning experience, but, like, at the same time, I was not predicting the things I was predicting. Like, if, if they were thinking a different way, then it could have gone differently. You know what I mean? So, uh, it just, I just made the wrong calls, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Friday night. Um, I hopefully you guys enjoy your, uh, morning or whenever the heck you decide to put this on, whatever day, you know, you're watching it. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. See you guys next time. Peace.